Welcome back to the Rune Rock installation guide. We continue with installing the memory. As said, you only need 8 gigs of RAM. You could install either one SODIMM memory card of 8 gigs or two of 4 gigs. If you use only one card, use the bottom position. Line up the small notch at the bottom edge of the SODIMM with the key in the socket. Insert the bottom edge of the SODIMM into the socket and when set properly, push down the outer edge until the retaining clips snap into place. If you have chosen a model that could hold an extra 2.5 inch drive and you want to install it, now it's the time. The bottom plate has a bracket that will hold it. Simply slide the drive in so that the label side remains visible. Carefully align the bottom to the housing, drop it into the housing and fasten the four screws again. This really is important, even if you have just bought a NUC an hour ago. The NUC might have left the factory weeks ago or longer and both RuneRock and the BIOS might have been updated since. What is a BIOS? It stands for Basic Input Output System and is a very small program that starts up the operating system and holds a number of settings. For instance, where to find the boot drive and what mode to start in. It also is the layer in between the operating system and the hardware and therefore it is important to have it right. You do need a USB thumb drive. On your day to day computer, go to the Intel Download Center by clicking the appropriate link in the notes. Here you type the product name of your NUC, for instance NUC6i7KYK below search downloads, browse for the BIOS update and click on it. Several versions of the BIOS update are now listed. Find the one that ends on BIO and click on it to download. Now accept the terms or not, but then you can't download and the download automatically starts. After the download is ready, copy the .bio file from your download map to the thumb drive. Now stick the thumb drive in one of the USB ports on the NUC and connect a keyboard and monitor. Switch on the NUC and as soon as the splash screen is displayed, that is the screen that mentions a number of F keys with their options, press F7, select the USB drive and press enter, select the .bio file and press enter and confirm that you want to BIOS to be updated by pressing enter again. The update will start and will take several minutes. Do not switch off the NUC and do not disconnect anything. When the update is done, it will report this and ask you to remove the USB thumb drive and then reboot. The NUC is now ready to have ROC installed, but switch it off for now, for we first have to download ROC and put it on a USB thumb drive. Click on the download ROC link in the notes. If the download file has the .gz extension, you have to unpack it first using for instance WinZip on a Windows computer or for instance the Unarchiver on the Mac. That will result in an image file. Now download Etcher by clicking the link in the notes, selecting the operating system you use and install the program. Then start it up, selecting the downloaded image file as the image, select the USB thumb drive as the drive and click on flash. Now we are ready to install ROC on the NUC. Disconnect any USB storage that might be connected to the NUC and insert a USB thumb drive you flash room ROC on. Turn on the NUC while holding the F10 key on the keyboard until a menu shows up that lets you select the device to boot from. Select the USB thumb drive and follow the instructions on the screen. Depending on the speed of the thumb drive and the SSD, this might take several minutes. When ready, it prompts you to remove the USB thumb drive and reboot. This time, don't hold the F10 key and a message will appear that RuneRock is running. When you start up Rune on your tablet, you will see 
Rune running on the knock. A codec is a piece of software that understands how audio is packed in for instance FLAC or MP3. Since Rune is as bare as possible, no codecs are installed. You can see if you need them by opening the web interface by typing http colon slash slash followed by the IP address of the rock computer. If you don't know the IP address, you could check your router or use a program like Fing on iOS and Android devices. If you do need codecs, simply download the FFmpeg from the link from the notes. Unpack the Exit package using for instance WinZip on Windows computers or the Unarchiver on Mac. Then open the shared volume on the ROC computer. On a Windows computer open the Windows Explorer and type backslash backslash ROC backslash. On a Mac open the Finder, type command K and type SMB colon slash slash followed by the IP address of the ROC computer and click connect. You now see a map called data. Open it and then open the map codecs and copy the FFmpeg file into it. Do not change the other maps or change the names of the maps for it might lead to data loss. Later on you might access the storage map to add or delete music. This is the end of part 2. If all went well, Rune is now running and can be used. I'm already working on part 3 where we will describe how to set up a system using the Rune Rock as a music server or as a server and renderer. So stay in contact by subscribing to this channel or my newsletter or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question, post it below this video but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions video to find out why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music. <laughs>